radian and degree measurement. Draw an angle of 3 pi by 4 and 7 pi by 4. Well, I've taken this example again since students have been finding it difficult to do it. And here is a very, very easy way of doing it. I know you don't have any protector in the market to draw radians, but here is one very easily available to you. This is how you're going to do it. Well, to draw an angle, so we actually mean angle in standard form, right? In standard position. That means we have a coordinate system and our vertex is at origin. Initial arm is along the x-axis. And that's what we mean when we just try to draw an angle, okay? So we're trying to draw an angle in standard position on our coordinate plane. Now, how to draw angles in radians? Now, if you note, in this I have taken example specifically with pi by 4 so that in one shot I can do both. Okay. Now, as you know, what is full circle? The full circle is 2 pi, right? If I go from here to here, one full circle, that means I do 2 pi radians. Is it okay? 2 pi radians. Now, half of 2 pi is pi. So if I do half the circle, it is pi radians. So it is pi here. Now, half of pi is pi by 2. So this is pi by 2, correct? Now, these, you know, are all pi by 2. So this is 1 pi by 2, 2 pi by 2. 2 pi by 2 gives you pi, right? And this one is 3 pi by 2. Let me write here 3 pi by 2. This is going to help us. Now, we want 3 pi by 4. Now, we don't want pi by 2s. We want pi by 4. So what is pi by 4? So to get pi by 4, what do we need? pi by 4 is half of pi by 2. So let's divide it into equal half. So this is our quadrant 1 and let's divide it into equal half. And we do it like this with a line here. So we get pi by 4. If I divide pi by 2 into two equal parts, I get pi by 4. So this is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4. The third pi by 4 should be in this quadrant. Well, and 7th will be, this is 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, here. Okay, so let me divide all my quadrants equally from the center, like this. I'm extending this, right? And so, I'm doing it on this side also. I'm not using anything else except for my stable hand to give you a beautiful picture here. And pardon me for the mistakes I do here while doing trying to show you but the thing is let's understand the concept more than the accuracy right but it looks nearly like pi by 4 so what I did was that I divided my pi that is my pi do you see that half of it in four equal parts so when I say 3 pi by 4 try to understand like this I'm saying 3 pi by 4 so I'm dividing my pi, which is this much, into four equal parts, like fractions, right? So this pi into four equal parts. This is one, two, three, four. And I want three fourths, three out of them. So three pi by four is one pi by four, two pi by four, three pi by four, that's it. So this is our three pi by four. Do you see that? That's how we draw our angles, right? So if I draw my angle with initial arm along the x-axis, which is this, and the terminal arm along this line, which is this, then I make an angle of 3 pi by 4. Do you see that? That is how we draw angles in radians, correct? Okay? And now, can you tell me where is 7 pi by 4? So, a simple counting. So, we'll go from here. We'll make bigger one this time. 1, right? This is 1 pi by 4. Let me not draw arrows here. 2, 
three, four, five, six, and that is seven pi by four. Do you see that? So this is my seven pi by four. So that's how easy it is. So for seven pi by four, my initial arm will rest along with the x-axis and the terminal arm will be on this side. Do you see that? And this red line will give me 7 pi by 4. Do you understand now how easy it is to draw angles with radians, right? I'll take another example to draw angles which are like pi by 6 and pi by 3. So that will take care of all your special angles. Okay, so look for the next video. Thank you.